guys, so I'm going to be doing a nail look today. And I'm going to be using fake nails. And these are the ones that I'm going to be using. They look like this. They're my fingers. They're nice enough to send me some products to use and show you guys. So these are the ones that I got sent. I'll just go through them real quick. These ones are Fingers Edge. They are black tipped and they have like little pink stars on them. And there's also, you can't really see it, but there's like a silver line separating the black and like the clear part. And then I also got French tips because you can never go wrong with these. And then the ones that I'm using, they're kind of like, um, I can't remember what that print's called. It's going to bother me. If I remember, I'll like post it over. Oh, Argyle. Okay, there we go. These are like a little Argyle print. And I've used these before and I really like them. They last a long time. They're great for like prom and stuff because if you go get your nails in a salon, it's like 50 bucks when I got mine done last time. And these are under $10 and they last a long time and you don't have to go get them filled. So that's a major plus. So to begin with, all you're going to want to do is get your nails. I just took mine out of the box. And then you're going to want a nail file. Like my cheesy nail file. It's got like horses on it. My grandma got it for me like a long time. But you're going to want to um, buff and file down your nails before you start doing this and wash them so they're nice and clean and the glue and everything will stick a lot better. So to begin with, all you're going to want to do is buff your nails. So just take your nail file and file them down. I like doing them short. That way like you won't see it under the nail. And then just like rub it on top to get all like the roughness off your nail and it should look like that. So I'm gonna finish doing all my nails and I'm gonna go wash them after I'm done filing them and I will be back. Okay, so now that your nails are all washed and buffed and all clean, this is what mine look like. Yeah, they look horrible because I'm always picking at mine. So these are great so I don't pick up my nails. Okay, when you get your nails, you also get these in the box. They're little like sticker things if you don't wanna use the glue that it comes with. All you do, is match um, the stickers to your nail size and then you put it on your finger and then you peel the white paper off and you stick your press on nail to it and it'll stay. But I'm gonna be using the glue because I like the glue better. Okay, so you're gonna open your nails and you're gonna wanna size them to your fingers before and before you start like gluing everything on. So I'm just gonna see what size my fingers need. Okay, so that one works for this finger. So I'm just going to like put them in a row. So like it'll be like this. And then I'll put my thumb on here, my middle finger here, and so on. And sometimes if they don't fit like with my thumb, when I put that on, you see like how it's rounded and my nail's square. What I like to do is file it down so it fits. And all you do is lightly rub the bottom of the nail on. Let's see, like that. And then just keep checking to see if it fits your nail yet. See, you now that fits. Now that fits a lot better. Okay, so I got my nails all laid out. Oh, so I got my nails all laid out. And now I'm going to start gluing. Now you're going to want to take your glue, open it up, and I'm going to start with my pinky. I'm just going to place these face down. So like the U part, like the indent, is facing up. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to put the glue evenly on your real finger and then also as well in the um, fake artificial nail. And you want to get an even coat. And when you do this, make sure 
that all your um fingers are clean. They don't have nail polish or anything on them, so you don't see it through the nail. And then evenly put it on the fake nail. And then you're going to take your nail, put it on your finger, and then press down and hold for at least 15 seconds. And then you should get a nail that looks like that. And they look really real. Like, Okay, so then you're going to want to go through and do the rest of your nails. And make sure you don't get glue on your fingers and then touch the nail because it'll stick on the nail. And then you'll get like weird imprints on your nail. So if you get glue on your fingers, stop and go wash your hands and make sure that it comes off first. So I'm just going to go through and do the rest of my nails. Okay, so I just finished my one hand, and this is what they look like. They look really nice. Like, I'm in love with them right now. So once you're done, just put the cap back on your glue. And you should have nails left over because you get um, 24 in a box. So... You can just put your lid back on your box. And then stick your glue back in and then put them back in the box. And then you can see them like if one for some reason falls off or you should have enough actually to do this possibly twice maybe if you're lucky with like the right sizes. But overall, I love these nails. Fingers also has these little um, pens that you can use for like nail art and stuff. So if you wanted to do, they have different colors. Um, they have like pink. This one's yellow. Um, I'm not sure the other colors. I'll post like the other colors and stuff down below. I look great. I have to finish doing my nails. But um, what you do with this? Cause it's just a little pen. It looks like that. Sorry for the glare. But you shake it. It sounds like a paint marker. But you shake it, open it up. Here's what the tip looks like. And then all you do is you draw on your finger. Like that it would look better. I'm doing this with my left hand and I'm right handed, so it would look better if I was doing it with my right hand and if I had um another nail polish under this to do design on. But you could do like French tips or something with this, like you could just draw on your tabs. And see they have like little designs down here. They have like a little shooting star, they have checkers, they have the little hearts. I like the little heart ones. And also they have um nail art stickers that you can buy you can buy any other stuff if you guys want to check their products out which you really should um you can get these at walmart cvs rite aid alta um kmart or like any mass retail store so yeah this is what these look like and i've heard that these stay on a really long time like i've used these before and they do, like, when I went to prom and everything, they stayed on. So they're like little troopers if they can last through prom. So I definitely think you guys should check these out. So thanks for watching and thanks to Fingers for sending me these to put on and use and show you guys. So hope you guys have a good day. Bye.